breaking news tonight, big news, President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, is facing new allegations tonight that he didn't properly disclose payments he received from Russia and Turkey and may have broken the law. The violation, if proven, would be a felony punishable by up to five years in prison. You'll remember it was Flynn who, at the Republican National Convention, led the audience in a lock-her-up chant about Hillary Clinton. The Republican chair and ranking Democrat of the House Oversight Committee announced their findings after reviewing General Flynn's application for security clearance, calling the documents they looked at, quote, extremely troubling. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer was asked about it at today's briefing. Does the White House believe that uh, Lieutenant General Flynn might have broken the law when he filled out SF-86? I, I don't. That, that would be a question for him and, and, and a law enforcement agency, whether or not he filled. I don't know what he filled out and what he did or did not do. That all happened. Uh, he filled that form out prior to coming here, and so it would be up to the committee and other authorities to look at that. I don't know. Oh, looking into it, exactly what congressional investigators are doing tonight. Pamela Brown has the latest. Tonight, new questions about whether President Trump's former national security advisor broke the law over payments he received from Russia and Turkey. Do you believe that Michael Flynn broke the law? I see no information or no data to support the notion that General Flynn complied with the law. The revelation comes after leaders of the House Oversight Committee reviewed Our classified documents in a private April briefing. April. Speaking to reporters on Capitol Hill today, they revealed they've seen no Government. proof showing well, Flynn, a former top peace. military intelligence well, official, received permission from the Pentagon or the State Department for the foreign government payments he received. He was supposed to get permission and he was supposed to report and he didn't, period. And they say he didn't fully disclose the more than half million dollars his firm was given for lobbying activities on behalf of Turkey when he applied to reinstate his security clearance or the $45,000 he received from Russia for a RTTV speaking engagement. Money Chaffetz says Flynn might have to pay back. As a former military officer, you simply cannot take money from Russia, Turkey, or anybody else. Uh, and it appears as if he did take that money. It was inappropriate. Uh, and there are repercussions for the violation of law. Flynn's attorney says in a statement he did comply with the law on the Russia payment, saying, quote, General Flynn briefed the Defense Intelligence Agency, a component agency of DOD, extensively regarding the RT speaking event trip, both before and after the trip. The embattled former National Security Advisor left amid controversy in February after he lied about discussing sanctions with Russian it's Ambassador kind of Sergei Kislyak. Kind of now, the former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates, who alerted the White House about Flynn's conversation with Kislyak, will soon testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Russia's interference in the election. We will ask her all questions about Russia, what she knew about Trump ties, uh, was any administration effort to unmask people for political purposes? We're going to get to all things uh, uh, Russia in terms of what the administration did and, and, and what Russia did. And the GOP chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee says the panel wants to question Flynn. Is there any way you give Flynn immunity to testify? No. There's no way? No. Pamela joins us. Now, there are continued calls for, for an independent investigation mm -hmm. into Russian interference. Is that looking at all likely at this point? Well, it can certainly happen. Um, just today, Anderson, the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein was confirmed in the Senate. So now he will oversee uh, the Russia probe for DOJ. And he has told senators, uh, according to Chuck Schumer, Senator Chuck Schumer, that he will appoint a special prosecutor if, in fact, it is necessary. In fact, a recent poll showed 73 percent of Americans want outside counsel. They want an outside bipartisan commission uh, to look into uh, Russia's meddling in the election and possible ties with Trump campaign associates beyond what's already going on, which, as we know, you have the House Oversight Committee investigation, the Intelligence Committee investigations, as well as the FBI investigation. Anderson. Yeah. Uh, Pam Brown, thanks very much. Much more ahead. I'll talk to Democratic Congressman Jim Himes, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, about the new allegations Michael Flynn is facing. Does his committee plan to call Flynn as a witness? And who else have they called to testify?